So I finally review Counter-Strike Continuity Deleted Scenes, or CSCGDS for short. This has rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? For those who don't know, Counter-Strike Condition Zero was a sort of expansion to the original Counter-Strike. It was released as a CD instead of being a mod for Half-Life. It features slightly better graphics, a single player mode, which I'll go into more detail later, more guns, more maps, and bots. The problem was that it was released less than eight months before Counter-Strike Source, so no one really paid much attention to it. So I said I would do more about the single player, but first, a history lesson. Yay. Basically, the game has a messy development history. The game was first being developed by Gearbox Software, but they didn't meet the deadline, so it was given to Ritual Entertainment, but the reviews given to it were not so great, so they scrapped the, it and gave it to Turtle Rock Studios. And they finished the game, and that's what we now know today as Counter-Strike Condition Zero. Before we get into the single player, I need to mention the multiplayer. It's basically the same, but with a few more guns, some more maps, occasionally has bots, and that's it, really. Back to single player. In single player of the Counter-Strike Condition Zero, you basically just play regular matches with bots, but you have to recruit your team by buying them with points you get to be by beating missions. So basically, you buy better teammates as you go along. The teammates have three stats, skill, co-op, and bravery, and the gun they use, but that's technically for whatever. So you have to decide whether to buy a guy with great stats but only has a riot shield, or a guy with not so great stats but has a bullpup. I think that's called a bullet, but I am not there. Or even do you buy the guy with great stats, or buy three guys with mediocre stats? So all in all, Counter-Strike Condition Zero is alright. I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. Not a bad expansion to a great game. But this is not what you're here for. You're here to find out about the Counter-Strike Condition Zero deleted scenes. Some of you might be wondering about what deleted scenes is and why it was made. Well, you remember in Ritual Entertainment, the company I mentioned 22 lines in my script ago? In my history section? Well, the build they made for Counter-Strike Condition Zero, the one that they scrapped, they thought they could just bundle in with a real game to make more content. It's slightly lazy, but I guess it's more content. So basically, it's like a campaign that any other modern FPS games would have, but boring. Okay, before I start to criticize the game with its flaws, I'll give a positive. The level design's alright. I'll describe the first three levels plus the training area right now. Counter-Terrorist Training. This is my favorite part of the whole game. It has like that Half-Life feel to it, you know, from the original first level of Half-Life. And it teaches you how to play the game, it's pretty good, so yeah. Recoil. All goes downhill from here. It's basically an African city with stereotypical, slightly racist African people trying to kill you and shouting. Lost Cause. An African rainforest with more stereotypical, slightly racist African people and an operator commander guy who swears at you in German? Secret War. Russians. And nukes. So now to the gameplay. It's not great. So basically your enemies have like a million health and you have like 10 million health. So instead of sneaking around and having split-second reactions, you end up standing right in front of them unloading your full clip into their face. Then they awkwardly just lie on the floor dead. Speaking of, the guns of the game just feel pathetic. Instead of like, I don't know, normal Counter-Strike? Where your gun has basically replaced your dog and feels more powerful than... I don't know, just insert random powerful thing here. And can kill your enemy in the blink of an eye, now it just feels like you're hitting them with sponges. Yay. The only time I felt challenged by it is when, and I guess I mean when, you run out of ammo for your main gun. So you get stuck with your pea shooter, which is made worse by the enemies having a million health. Your knife, and if you're lucky, a grenade. And the problem is that your enemies don't drop ammo, or guns. You can only find guns in specific areas that there is a gun in, which can be a while away from where you are. Another time it gets difficult is when you have low health and you save just in case you die. But the next turn you take, there's like 10 guys waiting to kill you and you have to survive killing them all with only 6 health left. Also there's this weird glitch when I load a save you would instantly shoot your gun for some reason. The thing was, I once loaded my save with a crosshair pointed towards a hostage. And I killed her instantly, and it made me reload the last save. Uh, that was my last save. So the verdict. 4 out of 10. Not painful, just boring. Anyways, you get it bundled with Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike Condition Zero, bro, so you're not really paying for it. So thanks for watching, and maybe like and subscribe, because if I continuously ran that on your throat, then it might work. Right? A anyone? No? But seriously, thanks for watching.